at the Tampa Bay History Center checking out the new Black History exhibit. Travels and Triumph tells the story of 500 years of Black history in Tampa Bay. There are more than 100 artifacts on display at the Tampa Bay History Center, including an 1856 handwritten lease for a 37-year-old enslaved woman and her three children in Tampa, and a Civil War era map showing the disbursement of enslaved people in the U.S. I remember seeing a few of these pieces last year at the History Center during Black History Month. The exhibit is divided into five parts with interactive components. You will get a closer look at a few civil rights leaders from Tampa, the history of black women in 19th century, and Central Florida's first black visitors. I learned that the first African descendants who traveled to Florida arrived in the 1500s. The screens are easy to use, even for little ones. You'll learn about the longshoremen, which represent the beginning of the black middle class in Tampa. The exhibit also covers the civil rights movement and segregated schools, including Tampa's to Blake and Middleton. Middleton High School is the older of the two and it was the first traditional high school for black students in Hillsborough County. I remember listening to the stories of former students last year at the Black History Month event and what they experienced after desegregation in 1971. On display are signs from the Black Lives Matter protests in Tampa, information about urban destruction, as well as information about Rogers Park. Tampa Bay History Center did a wonderful job with this exhibit and I look forward to coming back.